Hello friends, in today's lab, we are going to see how to enable roaming profile in Windows Server 2016 Active Directory. Roaming profiles allows users of an Active Directory domain to access the desktop and documents from any PC of the domain. The best thing about roaming profile is how they are easy to set up. For this demonstration, I have a two users named Jotave and Ken Anderson. Both users are members of our group, Research Users Group. And uh, before we configure roaming profile, we need to create a share folder on our domain controller. So let's come back on our server manager, click on file and storage services, click on shares and under shares, let's create a one new share folder to store a roaming profile. Select new share and on a new share wizard console, select SMB share quick profile to create a share folder. Click on next. Now here, let's specify the custom path on where we want to store our user profile. So I want to store on a e drive folder name profiles click on next and the folder share name will be profiles now let's put dollar sign at the end of the part to make the share folder invisible so this will create a hidden share click on next and this will ask the local path you entered does not exist click ok to create this directory or click cancel to select the different local path click on ok to create a folder and then let's also select enable access based enumeration for better security and then click on next now it's time to customize the permission we need to allow the access to our group and to do that just click on customize permissions first of all i'm going to disable the inheritance because there are two entries for all users of our domain so first i'm going to disable this select convert inherited permission into explicit permission on this object and remove both users entry and let's add a new entry, select a principal and let's add our group research users. Click on OK, give the permission allow and that permission applies to only to this folder. Now click on show advanced permission and give them a permission to list folder, read data, read attributes, read extended attributes and create folders and append data. Click on OK, click on Apply, click on OK and click on Next. Click on Create to create the share folder. Now as you can see the share was successfully created. Click on Close to close this console. Now as you can see we have a one uh, hidden share folder named Profiles. Now the final steps, let's again go back to our Active Directory Users and Computers console and on that select our users you can select individual users and then you can specify the uh, profile path or you can select multiple user and just right click on it and select property click on profile tab select profile path and let's specify the path of our share folder in our case it is lab dc01 slash profiles dollar sign is there and then slash let's put percentile username percentile click on apply and click on ok if you see the property of individual users click on profile and as you can see the profile path is unc path lab dc01 slash profiles dollar and slash the users logon name is there click on ok and already on a windows 10 computer login as our user judoway now let's open the system property by right clicking on the start button click on system Click on advanced system settings. See user is not able to see the advanced setting of the system but to see the advanced settings I'm going to give the credential of our administrator and let's specify the password. Hit enter. On user profiles click on settings. As you can see our user name Joe has a local profile. So right now our user Joe has a local profile. Click on OK click on OK and click on OK. Now let's uh, sign out. You can show the way, click on sign out. Let's again log in uh, with our user name Jotove. Okay and now this time our user must have a roaming profile. Let's again check that. Right click on the start button, select system, click on advanced system settings. Let's specify the credential of our administrator. Let's specify the password, hit enter. Under user profile, click on settings and as you can see our user name Joe has a roaming profile. Click on OK, click on OK, click on close. Now let's going back on our server, let's open Windows Explorer, 
click on e drive under e drive we have our one folder profiles and under that we have our users profile name joe.d that is the users login name dot v5 the v5 for windows 10 profile type so this is the way how we can set up a roaming profile in windows server 2016 active directory that's it for this video demonstration thanks for watching this video